Chris, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what are your important general love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Alright Aquarius, spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Aquarius today. Okay, Chris, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be your person or you, the person you're thinking about or dealing with, or it could be you, okay? So we've got the Hierophant here in reverse, and we've got the Seven of Wands in reverse. There is an energy of somebody having given up on a connection. Hierophant in reverse can indicate a separation, promises being broken, and Seven of Wands in reverse can indicate just somebody letting go, no longer fighting for this connection. But the seven ones in reverse also sometimes could indicate somebody putting their guards down, okay? Perhaps putting their guards down to reach out with the page of cups here. And um, Chris, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Can be any sign. We all can embody any of these energies, okay? So page of cups indicates some sort of message coming in, some sort of an offer. Could be also an apology. Somebody could be apologizing with the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse for not either being faithful or um, either not being faithful or being unstable or put you in an unstable situation, okay? Either any of these things. <laughs> so we've got the Queen of Wands here in reverse and the Four of Cups. So somebody is feeling less than passionate right now okay i feel like somebody is not wanting to accept this cup here with the four of cups because either they are bored or because they're dissatisfied because of something here okay there's some sort of dissatisfaction and this is what why i feel like you know the queen of wands is the, is the queen of fire so when it's in reverse i feel like you know um Especially with the cups here, yeah, I feel like somebody could be, I don't know why I'm, I'm seeing this, it's like throwing water in the fire, so the fire just burns out. Yep, that's what I'm getting. So for some of you, it could be, this is not for all of you, okay? <laughs> lack of passion, lack of desire as well in the connection, because either the Hierophant could indicate, you know, with it being reversed, um, but if it's an upright position, it's like a very conventional kind of a connection and it might get to, it might get boring um, or feels like a routine, that's what I'm getting. And Chris, this part, it's very specific and I know it's not going to apply to all of you, but I definitely sense that here, okay? Some, and Four of Cups actually could indicate boredom, but Four of Cups could also indicate somebody having few options, but they just don't want to take it because they don't think they're good enough, okay? Could be any of these messages. Uh, Aquarius, it's a general reading. It's, gonna, it's definitely not going to apply to all of you, okay? Let's see more. I feel like somebody also could be feeling that, you know, what this... Page of Cups is offering, Page is young, right, young, and Cups is about emotions, something kind of different, but I feel like lack of stability with the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse, hmm. And I feel like uh, also Korea Spirit is trying to say, if somebody is offering you love, okay, or even an apology, don't accept it unless they come in more more than a page of cups okay unless they come in with a bigger offer that looks more solid and i wouldn't say that it's not sincere with the page of cups is an upright position but the knight of pentacles in reverse there's something lacking in this offer that i feel perhaps uh, may not be good enough for you all right so let's see more we've got the lovers in reverse lovers could indicate a choice somebody has made a choice for sure as well as the two of cups here in reverse to end the connection with the death card here but the death card could also indicate transformation and i'm also sensing because okay for some of you if you were 
uh, involved in a third party situation if your person cheated or it could be you okay again roles can be switched here I feel like somebody has definitely lost both okay the third party like two two other people I mean not two other people so somebody is playing this love triangle thing right so these other two are finished so I feel like they could have either lost you both lost you and the third party okay again roles can be switched here and I feel with the Nine of Wands here in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, this may indicate um, although the connection could have ended or both of you may have separated, but there's still a very stuck energy and the way the Seven of Swords here in reverse, the way it's moving towards the left, uh, facing the left, I feel like somebody may still try to sneak their way back into your life or it could go vice versa, okay? So Nine of Wands is in reverse, somebody has given up on a connection. I do see a few scenarios here, Aquarius. For some of it's it actually could be because um, there's this energy of somebody losing passion and desire because things may have become so much of a routine. That's what I'm getting. And another scenario I'm seeing here is someone may have let go of this connection because somebody may have had an affair elsewhere, okay? That could have led to a separation here. And with the Seven of Swords in reverse, it always indicates you know, uh, also when it's in reverse, it means that if somebody was being deceptive, underhanded in some way, shape or form, I feel like this person may have been caught, okay? So let's see more. Queen of Swords in reverse is actually you. And we've got the King of Wands here in reverse. So yeah, we've got the King of Wands here in reverse. So this indicates somebody, um, sort of, I would say a player energy. Could have put somebody in a third party situation with the Three of Cups here. And I feel like with the King of Wands in reverse and the Emperor, being the Emperor is also a fire sign, I feel with the Death card, it could indicate somebody wanting to transform and change, okay? And basically stepping up from the, being the King of Wands to becoming the Emperor here in an upright position. So that's actually pretty good because the Emperor in an upright position indicates somebody whom is finally taking responsibilities a bit more mature i would say if you compare the king of wands in reverse and the emperor of course the emperor is more mature um a way better a way better energy okay more mature responsible and got their stuff together so queen of pentacles is in reverse hmm. i do sense it can be a little bit too late that is a feeling whether it's you or a person somebody here may feel like hey it's too late it's done and dusted with the death card here that's why the four cups is here it's almost like you know too late i don't want it anymore could be you feeling this way or your person again roles can be switched here aquarius this is your reading hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with a playlist on the screen right now this playlist is from my second vlog channel if you're interested check it out and also i'm open for personal reading if you guys would like to book me my information is in the description box below and aquarius i post your videos almost every single day if you'd like to be notified every time when i post your videos don't forget to hit on the bell notification button all right take care aquarius bye